Hi, my name is Conrad Braun, and I want to thank you for considering my WSO um, on the Warrior Forum here today. Uh, to help you make your decision uh, more wisely, I'm just quickly going to go through the program, demonstrate what it does and what it can do for you, and you can decide whether or not it's something that, that works for you. Again, you will need a domain name. You will need to have your own site for this to work. Um, you need some place to install the code on. Um, but yeah, so otherwise it's it's fairly straightforward, very simple as you will see. So let's just quickly log in here. This is after we have installed the script. And um, as you can see here, just click on add a campaign. And you, all you do simply is you fill in this these boxes right here. So you add a campaign name. It helps you uh, track um, the campaigns that you create, what site you created this for. You can literally have you know, 10, 20, or 100 different sites running off of one installation of this program but again you can also install it on um, as many domain names as you want as long as these domain names are yours of course and um, yeah so you just enter uh, a campaign name you enter keywords and see the cool thing here actually what I'll do I'll just quickly go under view campaigns let's quickly click on uh, edit here and uh, I'll give you a little more information on that so I don't have to walk through everything fill everything out again um, but yeah, this is just a dummy uh, campaign that I set up here for the demonstration purpose. Um, so as you can see here, um, I put a campaign name in there. It helps me keep track of my campaign. So later on, if I look through the campaigns, I can find which uh, campaign is associated with which site and stuff. So um, next thing is the keywords. Um, as you can see right here, so it's one keyword per line. And uh, the beauty here is that you can also spin these keywords. So, for example, if you have individual keywords, like here, for example, pink tool, it'd be on one line. If you have uh, different variations of that keyword, you can uh, put it on the next line. For example, here, uh, best, coolest, powerful pink tool script. So, it'd create a variation of one of those uh, keywords in, in, in these brackets here. I hope that makes sense. Um, again, you can have as many keywords as you want in here. Um, the sky is the limit. So it really helps you to um, make all pings unique. When um, and as you as you know, this the script works off of a visitor coming to your site. It it, it calls a ping off of the visitor's IP address. So it's non-spammy. Um, it's it only activates once every 24 hours. So if the visitor comes back, let's say five hours later it will not ping again um, this is just to pre prevent any spam uh, triggers um, whatsoever and uh, and again with this randomization feature that's in here it'll greatly help you with that as well and the next here is the pinging preference you can have it self ping so the the page that you install it on um, the, the code on I'll show you the code a little later on um, it will either ping that page or you can have a custom ping where you enter the URLs of any website that you want that are that is associated with this campaign you can enter them here and it will ping them instead instead of the page that the visitor lands on does that make sense so you can have either the page that the visitor lands on or any of your other pages so really a lot of good options right there so the next thing here is the RSS feed you can implant TRSS feed of your blog for instance in here or I'll show you some other neat features on how you can uh, get your own RSS feeds and and uh, just plant them in here and, and get them pinged uh, every time uh, a unique visitor comes on your site okay and then the next thing here is the backlinks um, that you have to your website all you do is you simply copy paste them in here and uh, the script will randomly ping one of those URLs um, per unique visitor. Okay, and again, you can have as many as you want in here. So literally thousands of them, um, if you want to. It really is up to you. Um, okay. Now, if you're worried about um, Google bots, um, you don't do not want the script to be triggered if if Google visits your site. Um, again, I would not worry about it. But if you are, uh, all you do is simply copy paste. Um, the bot IP addresses in here and it will ignore it and it will not ping when those uh, bots visit your site 
Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, the next thing here is you can block a referring site um, from, so basically if site A sends you a visitor, you can have site A blocked um, so that when the visitor comes to your site, it will not ping um, your site or it will not call uh, call up this pinging script um, if the visitor came from, from site A. Um, the idea behind this is, let's say you're doing a mailing, let's say you want to ban all uh, or, or stop all visitors, That let's say you promote a product through ClickBank. So when you get a million visitors in one day, because you're doing a JV launch or whatever, you can just enter the ClickBank URL in here, um, or any URL that you're using to redirect traffic to your site and prevent it from uh, causing the visitors to um, to ping to ping your site to call on the script. Uh, does that make sense? It's it's really very straightforward. Um, again, I myself don't use it, but uh, the option is there. Should you want to use it, you can use it. So as you can see, it, it a lot of really good options, a lot of options, a lot of good features. Um, um, it's very straightforward. And what we have here also is for each little box here in case you have any questions on how to do it whatever um, there's little video instructions short instructions that uh, explain exactly what the box is about how you can best utilize it and uh, I show you some very neat some very cool very powerful features um, that you can use to really make uh, a huge hit out of this out of the script and out of the software and really make it used to uh, work to your advantage okay so next thing what we'll do here, we'll just quickly go to um, the RSS descriptions. Yeah, let's go that there. And um, what you see here, it's a pretty much when you create a campaign, um, all the information. Okay, let's just quickly go back here. So basically, what happens? All the information that is in here, um, let's say all your backlinks. Um, keywords everything is taken and it creates an RSS feed automatically as soon as you hit the update button here it creates an RSS feed um, f for you with all the information and it randomly pulls one of your backlinks uh, five of your back I think it's ten of your backlinks and ten of your um, actual URLs that and uh, if you use custom pinging anyways it creates an RSS feed and I will show you how to how to use it, but basically what it does, it creates the RSS feed um, using this information right here. This is just dummy filler text, um, but again, you can customize it as much as you want. It's pre-filled for you. It's not something you have to worry about. Uh, it's all ready there, and it's it's working really great. I've used this script myself for uh, many months now. I've done it, use it commercially for most of my clients. Um, so you're actually very lucky to to get your hands on it. So this is my first time. Um, that have made it uh, available to to other uh, other people and uh, made it user friendly enough so that other people could use it without knowing much about the details and stuff. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. There'll be instructions, guides, videos, everything along the way, explaining every step of the way that uh, on how to do this here. So let's just go quickly back to, to uh, view campaigns. Um, this is the code that you will be given and all you would do is just copy paste this code onto the website um, that uh, you want to use to call um, the script into action um, so let's say you, you're promoting site A and uh, you want to use the traffic on site A to uh, to ping your site, to ping your backlinks, whatever. All you do is you just copy paste this code into the footer or at the bottom of uh, site A and it will automatically take care of it for you. Again, nobody will see it. Um, it's out of sight, out of mind. Nobody notice it, notices it. It happens all in the background and it happens all automatically. So it's very cool, very powerful. And uh, yeah, let's go back to view campaigns here again. And I'll just quickly show you it has a stats feature. It shows you how many times your site has been pinged, and it also gives you an RSS feed that I was talking about earlier. And I'll show you where you can promote this as well. Okay. 
Okay, so let's just quickly go back here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very straightforward, yet very powerful. We've had some uh, really good results using this uh, exact system for our own sites as well as some of our customer sites. Um, but as you can see on the Warrior Forum yourself on this uh, thread, um, that some sub customers have had dramatic increase in, in ranking and stuff like that, improvements and stuff. So check it out for yourself. Um, judge for yourself and see if it's something that that you can use in uh, in your business and in, in your online endeavors. So um, again, I want to thank you very much for first of all watching this video, coming on this thread, and taking your time, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, having you as a customer. And remember, if you ever run into any difficulties whatsoever. Um, we are never out of reach. You can always get a hold of us and we'll provide you with full details of contact information, everything that you need. And uh, again, it's completely newbie friendly. If you're not too familiar with the internet, any of that, um, do not worry about it. Um, we got you covered. We got you taken care of with uh, many instructional videos as well as very detailed uh, guides and stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to having you as a customer. And uh, yeah, thanks again and have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.